Hey there everyone and welcome back to a brand new Game Maker 2 tutorial and today we're going to be looking at custom crosshairs in Game Maker 2. Now if you guys are anything like me, when I created my first ever Game Maker game, I basically made an object and set the sprite to a crosshair and it basically um, collided with all my objects and made them stop walking and just create tons of interference in the game. But today I'm going to show you guys a system where you can create a crosshair that won't affect anything in your game and is literally just replacing the mouse with whatever you want. So if you're doing a shooter game, you will have a shooter crosshair or anything like that. So the first thing that we want to do inside the Game Maker 2 is that we want to go into the options in the right, open it up, go to the windows, and then go to the graphics. And we want to turn display cursor off. Then we click apply and OK. And that is everything we need to do in the options. The next thing you want to do is you guys want to import the sprite crosshair or cursor that you want to do. So we've got a nice wee 32 by 32, just a simple crosshair that I pulled off of the internet and royalty free, but you guys can put in your own crosshair or whatever you want. Uh, so the next thing you want to do is you want to go into create an object. We're going to do obj underscore cursor. And we're not going to assign a sprite and we're going to go into the step event. And the only thing we have to do is cursor underscore sprite is equal to SPR underscore cursor. So that's what we called our cur uh, cursor over here, our crosshair, whatever you want to call it. And the next thing you have to do is window underscore set underscore cursor, and then do CR underscore none. And that is everything that you have to do in this tutorial. There is nothing else, no other hidden tricks. This is absolutely everything you have to do. So the next thing we have to do is we're going to open up a room, just call it R underscore one. I'm going to change the room to be a little bit bigger if I could get to the room properties which are down why can't which are down here oh there we go so we're gonna make it just a 1280 by 720 and because the sprite is we're just gonna make it uh, green because the um, crosshair is black and we'll put the crosshair into the instances layer and I'll go ahead and launch the game and I'll see you guys in one second and here we are guys, we are inside of our Game Maker 2 game and we have a crosshair that moves around the screen perfectly. When we take it out of the game, it goes back to the Windows crosshair and we pull it back in, it goes back to the crosshair sprite that we have assigned. And if you guys do have objects in your game, it won't collide with it, it pretty much just hovers over it and it is a crosshair, there's nothing else I can say about it. This is one of the simplest tutorials that I've done on my channel, but I know that a lot of people have issues with it colliding with objects, so I thought I'd make this tutorial just to outline that you can do this just in a uh, object that is basically like a controller and yeah it won't interact with any of your items and you can also change it for if you want to enable a gamepad so it doesn't um, show when you have a gamepad or if you want it to change crosshair if you have a crosshair menu stuff like that by the way guys if you enjoyed today's tutorial make sure to go ahead and leave a like and also subscribe and leave down a comment what else you want to see in the future and without further ado i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i will see you in the next one bye bye